You're going to want to listen to this if you're on your healing journey. How long does this restful healing phase last though? This is a question in response to my video I did about this really crazy phase that you can go through when you're healing your trauma and your nervous system comes out of fight or flight. It's actually attached to this response. This phase, which is marked by high fatigue, lack of ambition to do anything, what we might perceive as to be depression, not wanting to engage with others, finding it difficult to complete daily tasks. This is the phase I'm talking about. And this phase is triggered when your nervous system finally says we're safe and we're out of danger. Now this is where it gets tricky. Your nervous system is going to require time to discover one important thing, and that is consistency with safety. Once it feels that it's been out of danger for a certain period of time, it's going to allow all the emotions that you suppress to come up and you are going to feel exhausted. But the biggest determining factor for how long this phase is going to take is how well you manage it and how kind you are to yourself. If you're not showing yourself self-compassion and you're beating yourself up for being quote unquote lazy and allowing the comments of other people to make you feel terrible because you're no longer as productive as you once used to be, you are going to suffer twice, which is going to add more emotional and psychological pain and turmoil for you to have to work through. So it's best now to just say, I give myself permission to rest and to do the things that I need to do for myself in between.